Before we get into the video, make sure y'all hit that like button, subscribe if you're new. I mean, come on, what are you doing? If you're not subbed to me by now, my content is fire from stop motions, news videos, reviews, music occasionally. All my social media accounts are linked down below. And now, let's get straight to it. Hey, hey, what's up, guys? Thank y'all for clicking on this video. As you can tell by the title, I got a little bit of grim, dark, and bad news, whatever label you want to put on this. Rise of the Beast is is pretty much struggling at the box office here. We're at pretty much a month of it being out in theaters. It's doing better than The Flash and pretty much better than Indiana Jones too. But but um, you know, it's raking in around three hundred eighty million at the time of this recording. Now, granted, it's not come out in certain countries yet, like um, China. That's one of the main ones that come to mind. I think there's other countries too that Rise of the Beast hasn't come out in theaters, but China is pretty much the main one that we're looking out for to pretty much boost the uh, box office for this movie. So three eight hundred eighty million around around this time, uh, and the budget is around one hundred ninety five million. It could be a little bit more than that. It could be a little bit less. We don't know. That's just the estimate that we have been given so far. And that's not counting in the marketing budget, you know, stuff like that. All those extra expenses, I don't think. So, $380 million, $195 million budget, marketing budget, all these other expenses. And it's just not cutting it right now for, you know, to make up for the cost of the movie. Uh, so... Well, when it's all said and done a couple months from now, we're, we're probably going to just break even, probably around 500 million or 450 million altogether, which really isn't terrible, but isn't great either. Um, I, I think if it reaches that point, 450 million, 500 million, we're probably going to get a sequel green lit, but it probably won't be with the budget that we got for Rise of the Beasts. Which is a bit sad to think about given the plans that are up in the air with how Rise of the Beast ended, with the G.I. Joe crossover being teased, what Stephen Cappell Jr. is talking about, how he wants to bring in the universe and multiple planets for Transformers, and he wants to bring back Megatron for the sequel. So taking all those things into consideration and how we're probably going to have a lower budget for the sequel if Rise of the Beast doesn't pull in more money, probably past $500 million at this point, um, that's not looking good. I mean, it, it could be good. I mean, Bumblebee's budget was only, what, like $50 million, and that turned out to be a pretty good movie, me personally, besides the Cybertron scene and some scenes towards the beginning, middle, and end of the movie, like Blitzwing versus Bumblebee. I didn't really think it was too amazing, like some Transformers fans think, but, um, you know, this really isn't great news. $380 million at the box office. And I was hoping, you know, seven hundred million, eight hundred million, but I think competition did dig into this a little bit, specifically Spider Verse. You know, the movie came out around a week and a half after Spider Verse, and that movie absolutely dominated the box office. It's pretty much the only movie except for I think Mario Two that's done really well at the box office. So it's not just Rise of the Beast problem, Transformers problem, or Paramount's problem. It's the Hollywood industry in general with theater. I think people are just sick of going to the theater. I think the pandemic just escalated everything and people are sick of going to the theater and people just want to enjoy stuff in the comfort of their own home. Streaming has become pretty big the last couple of years, even though I've heard that struggling at times recently too. But, um... You know, I just think the age of the theater is pretty much ending, and I think we are in our final years of uh, Hollywood pushing theater goers and stuff like that. It seemed like this year Hollywood really wanted theater to go back to normal and having a bunch of people going to go see their movies in theaters, but that's just not the case. Only a couple movies have really been able to, you know, strive in theaters, and Rise of the Beast definitely is not one of them, which is sad to see. But it is doing better than The Flash and Indiana Jones. I'll give it that. That is fantastic because early projections and a lot of Transformers fans were even saying doom and gloom about Rise of the Beast due to Flash and Indiana Jones coming out just a couple weeks after Rise of the Beast. But 
hey, 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 lo and behold, those two movies are doing even worse than Rise of the Beast so far at the box office. So that's just proof right there that you don't always believe pro projections and what people are saying months before a movie releases in theaters. I was saying that in videos, don't believe all the doom and gloom. And lo and behold, I was right, and Rise of the Beast is doing better than Flash and Indiana Jones. But, you know, not by much, not as much as I would have hoped, but... You know, like I said, if it does cross 450 million and 500 million even, I think we would get a sequel, but probably not one soon, probably within four years, maybe three years, and it probably wouldn't have as high of a budget as we got with Rise of the Beast here. Um, so hopefully this does as good as I want it to, to at least green light a sequel for a chance for another Transformers movie past the animated film coming out next year. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much all I wanted to cover in this video. Let me know down in the comments below what do you guys think about this dark news about Rise of the Beast box office, how, it, how it's doing. Let me know, let me know down below, and I'll catch y'all in the next video. Bye!